Hi guys, so it's Sunday and I'm gonna film for you. Y'all hope y'all don't mind. Uh, but I'm... We're eating some food. Um, the kids are eating a burrito in the back and we're stopped, you guys. Don't worry, we're stopped. We're actually waiting for to get into the car wash um, because we're gonna wash my car. Because Dad, it really needs to be washed. Is that in the dirt? Mm hmm. Is in the dirt? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna also go to church today, and last night I think Anthony had an upset stomach. I don't think he was necessarily like sick. I just think he had an upset stomach because um, he threw up, just like what he had in his tummy, and then after that he was fine. Um, but that was around like two, three in the morning, so I was definitely tired. I just stayed up because you know how it is being a mom, you get worried. So I just stayed up a little extra longer than he did um, because I wanted to make sure he was okay. so beautiful outside but it's too bright for this morning uh how are you doing i'm back i didn't really vlog yesterday at all but the car wash i apologize for that um hi ruby hi welcome back to our weekly vlogs we're playing outside all of us on this beautiful day so beautiful Sissy, are you blowing some bubbles? Yeah. Wow. Oh. She's trying to. Baby. Yeah, Leah has her baby thrown on the floor. Sad day. I'm mommy. Yeah, your baby fell. Why is your baby on the floor? Hello. Whoa, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Hello, guys. So, there will be no weekly vlog. As you guys already know, there was no weekly vlog this week. <gasps> Sissy, don't do that, Mom. I just didn't like how the weekly vlog turned out last week. I don't know. I just, I don't know if it's my mood. Today, I might end up, like, re-editing it and, like, uploading it. But I just didn't like the way it, like, I was vlogging. I just didn't like it. So I decided not to upload it. But I did film two other videos for you guys. I filmed a makeup tutorial and then a what's in my bag video. So those should be up by this week. I'm going to have them edited and up um, kind of to replace the weekly vlog. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. Hi, Ruby. What are you playing with? Playing with a toy? Hi, buddy boy. Hi, buddy boy. Hi. Okay, guys, so I've been actually back for a while. Um, I got Anthony ready for school, and he went off to school. Today is his first field trip, um, and he, I think he's going to the fire, like, he's going to go visit the fire department, and that's going to be super fun for him. 
Um, I'm excited for that. He woke up excited for that, so I got him ready. And it is going to be super cold today. It's going to be like in the 50s, like the low 50s. And that makes me excited. It, it was like super warm whenever I went to go drop off my mom. It wasn't cold at all. Um, and then I went to go drop off Tonio, and it was like super cold outside. I'm like, oh, dang. And I looked at the weather. My sister said it was going to get cold throughout colder throughout the day I looked at the weather it was like it went from like 60 to 50 so it's dropping quite a bit I got my coffee um what I'm doing right now is I'm looking at some over the phone interview tips um just to, like to see what I should expect um read a little bit about it write a little bit of notes I got my little journal here um and what's it called see what I need um what I need to take with me or like what I need to have with me so it'll make my life easier um you know just what they expect um things like that so I'm taking some notes over that um and I'm also gonna reread like what the what the position was that I applied for so I'm just gonna like skim over that and make sure that you know I know what I applied for and you know just stuff like that so those are a few tips if you're wondering um that you could do what's up my baby what's up my baby do you want to see yourself who is that is that my pretty girl ruby is that my pretty girl ruby yeah yeah so i have my little candle burning over there it smells so good it's like hazelnut cream honestly it is so I got it at Walmart, you guys. I don't get, like, really, like, fancy-spancy stuff. I just get my stuff, like, whenever it's on sale or something that's cheap. Um, so, it was, like, four bucks at Walmart, so I got it. Um, and it smells really good. Really, really good. Okay, guys. We're on our way to my friend's house so she can watch all these little ones. And then we're going to have one more coming over there. So, Ruby. Ruby. What are you doing? Okay, sis, buckle yourself in. Come on, get buckled in. Okay, guys, and here's what I am. I just got myself together because you got to look nice in order to feel good. So I got to feel good. It's not like they're going to see me or anything because it is over the phone. But you have to look good, you know what I mean? I'm wearing, like, this little cardigan with a little t-shirt and some jeans and some booties. Um, but that's what I'm wearing today. We're heading on our way out. Um kind of anxious but not really like you know this job is for me it's for me if it's not it's not but it feels so nice outside it's pretty chilly <laughs> trying to get my belt buckled <sighs> okay um it's really pretty outside um it's cold it's chilly for like the kids and stuff so that's why they're all wearing jackets um but i feel good look good feel good got god on my side so we're all good are you guys ready to go Nope, yes. Sissy's, st Sissy's still getting buckled in. Yes, Natalie? Yes. Okay, um, so we're going to go. I have all my paperwork. Um, I was going to pick up my diploma beforehand, but I think I'm going to do it afterwards um, since I don't I'm, I don't want to be, like, running super late from the school and not be, like, at a quiet space where I can listen to the interview and, like, you know, do it. Um, so that is what we're doing right now you guys i just got back from the interview i just got back from the interview and it went so good oh wait i never, i didn't tell you guys the whole story i didn't tell you guys what happened okay i'm waiting for one to get out of work so if that's why you guys are wondering why i'm sitting here is because i'm waiting for one to get out of work um so i talked to them on the phone this morning i did a phone interview and i actually prepared for it like i was telling you guys um and i went over to my best friend's house that was gonna watch the kids for me while i did the interview um and i'm like i'm so nervous about this she's like she's like let's do a practice interview and i was just like really nervous i'm like what i'm like no i'm like let's not do that and she's like yeah let's let's um let's do a practice interview sorry guys i think this bothers you guys whenever i'm like vlogging um she's like let's do a let's do a practice interview it'll help you out a lot and so i'm just like oh i guess fine we'll do a practice interview it was just really awkward for a little bit um because i'm a little immature at this stuff like i'm an amateur not immature i'm an amateur at this stuff and so i was like uh like i don't know how i'll do and i was like laughing for a little bit in the beginning because it was kind of funny like you know seeing your best friend you guys know like that best friend relationship where we guys like, just like kind of laugh at each other we guys like laugh at each other um yeah so i was like i was laughing 
Um, but then after that, it got serious because I'm like, well, I should really like take in what she has to offer me. Dude, she gave me so much help. Like, if I have one tip for you is do a practice interview with somebody who has been like in retail, who has worked in management because she gave me so many great tips. And so she's like, you need to just be confident in yourself. You know, she was, she's a great friend. So I was like, okay, all right, I got this, I got this. And so the lady called me for my interview and I was talking to her on the phone. I, I went into the car to do my interview because I, um, what's it called? The kids were all inside the house and, um, yeah, so I was like super nervous and I was like, but still like I got it done. Like I'm like, I'm going, I'm going to get this job. That's like, that was like my attitude going into this like whole interview. Like I'm going to get that job. I don't care what, I don't care what nobody says. And so like I talked on the phone and she's like, we talked for about like 30, 20, 20, 30 minutes. She, she's like, can I have you come in today at, um, you know, and she started like telling me the time. She's like, um, if you can come in today, that would be great. I would, you know, I would like to meet you. And so I'm like, I was like, yeah, I would love to. And so she told me where to meet her. And um, I decided to go in at 2.30. I was like kind of like scatterbrained because I'm like, who am I going to leave the kids with? You know, what am I going to do? But it got all figured out. Like all I say is if I get things figured out, if they all work accordingly, <laughs> it's because I'm supposed to get this job now. If it was like, oh no, like I have nobody to watch the kids, like absolutely nobody, um, then, you know, I, you know, would be like, oh no, this probably it's not meant for me because it's just like a signal from god saying no let's you don't need this job but everything worked out perfectly um and and so i like went to the internet i was there on time i got there at like 2 20 my interview was at 2 30. i walked in and the lady like i sat there for like maybe like five minutes and the lady came up to me she's like i'm so sorry we were like backtracked on interview she's like i have you know three other people waiting in front of you i know i said 2 30 but there was something wrong and she's like um would you like to wait for you know i'm like yeah i would like i'm gonna wait for this interview i came here so i was like i'm gonna wait yeah that's fine i'm like i'm just gonna get something to eat because i hadn't ate anything all day and she's like yeah that's fine that's fine go ahead grab something to eat and so like i you know it was like i was like okay and so i went to go get something to eat and she like interviewed the other people i was like 30 it was like 30 minutes later 30 or 45 minutes later and it was my time to be interviewed and i talked i talked about just personal like uh, just things that came out of my heart i talked about it and what's it called and um it was great like it was great i didn't think i was gonna get the job like right then and there because i was i just didn't expect it like i talked to some of the other people that were there i talked to some of them and they were like oh you know they're telling me their experience and i was like oh okay well maybe i might need like a few more interviews um you know i might you know like so i was like oh i i'm not gonna get the job today and so like um i went into it and the lady's like i was like she's like do you have any questions for me i'm like is there a third interview or a second interview she's like yeah there is and i was like oh, okay um you know like kind of going into it like when am I gonna start but then she didn't like I don't think she wanted to answer that yet so I was like okay well I'm not gonna go there she just want to answer like she doesn't know when she'll just like contact me and so then after that I like asked her a few more like you know questions about herself um and stuff like that and she was just like so talk to me about it and then like after that she's like I lied there's no third there's no third interview and I was like what she's like you're in it like you are you know she's like you are hired I'm like she was so sweet you guys it was such a good experience and whenever there's such good experiences i feel like it's meant to happen it's a good experience it's meant to happen you know what i'm mean? like that's why i already know it's just like meant to happen whenever they're good experiences whenever everything goes like smoothly and great that's why you know like it's meant to happen you know what i mean so so it went great i have a job i have a job i have a job and I have a whole bunch of breakouts. Literally, I have so many breakouts. I swear I'm going to start monthly. I have like one. And you can definitely see them on camera because the camera like emphasizes everything on my face. I have one right there, one right here, one right here. I have a whole bunch up here. <laughs> Man, she was so nice. I'm so excited, you guys. I got the job. I start Monday. You start Monday. Monday. It's crazy. Hey guys, it's, it's actually in the afternoon and we're just all getting up from being lazy. Um, my stomach is kind of like hurting. I have a tummy ache. Um, and, but the kids were all like super tired for some reason. So we all laid down and we just took a nap and we woke up like at 11.30. So, um, so um, now I'm going to make them some eggs because they're all hungry after their nap. They're all starving and they're all grumpy. So that's what we're doing. What? Huh? I want some candy. 
You want a chair? No, 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 no. Leave the chair right there. Leave the chair there. Thank you. Ready to do the ABC? Time for ABC. Do it. Sing him. Oh, 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 it's getting intense. Okay. Let's see, let's see this hand. Let's see what this hand does. You don't, what about her nose? Does her nose do anything? What about her foot? Foot. Yes. No. What do you say? Wait, no. No, no. Listen. I'm hot. I'm hot. You guys, this is my last week with all these little kids. It's like my last few days, honestly. I start working Monday, and I'm so sad. I'm not going to teach this. What's wrong, my precious face? What's wrong? You guys, it feels so pretty outside. You know, one thing that's on my checklist whenever I get paid first time, I'm going to buy myself a tripod for this camera because... It gives you better angles. Right now I'm taking my uncle's car to figure out something to eat. Really, is this the key? It's a really, it's a pretty old car, guys, so. Is this even the key? Oh, there we go. I'll stick it all the way in, okay. I'm gonna go grab something to eat right now in my uncle's little car. <laughs> It's like so old. These are sliding. It's like so old. You see both of them? Hi guys, today's a lazy day. I'm just chilling here at home, taking care of the babies. Um, today was my last day to take care of Ruby, which is so sad, but um, I said bye to her, and of course I'll get to see her every once in a while um, because we will be getting her. I mean, she is my niece, so. Um, this is for Kayla. This is for Kayla. We got some packages today. My sister ordered Curology. She wants to try it out, so she got hers today, which is super exciting. And then I ordered some ColourPop stuff, so that's exciting. I ordered um, a concealer for me and for her. Um, this is all for my mom, so just leave that there. Um, but I got this ColourPop um, thing, which looks really beat up, honestly. Like, there's, like, ink everywhere, but it's okay. We'll open it. Should I set you guys down? Hold on, sit, sit right there. No, this is for me. No. Oh yeah, that one's Kayla. Open. I'm excited for this. So they always come with a little booklet and stuff. Hey love, we like you a lot day. XOXO color pop. That's cute. <laughs> and then we here's the two. I got the no filter concealer. So here's both of them. I did my nails today. Do you guys like them? They're purple. Uh, but I got I just got two of the no filter concealers. That is such cute packaging. It's such cute packaging. I got um 
guys this is why i need a tripod for my for my camera because look at me i'm trying to like do all this so i got fair five for her and medium 30 for me all the other fairs look just too pinky for her um and this looks a little too dark for me so these are the two shades that i got and i pr i thought this one's gonna be a little too dark for me that's the baby back here Oh, I, I thought this was going to be a little too dark. Maybe it won't. We're all in bed. We're all getting ready to go to bed. Tony, what are we doing? Mm. Reading my books. What are what books are they? Are you playing with the baby's bottle? <laughs> and, um, we are doing my, my school books. We get yep. to take them home every day. Yep, and we get to read them here at home. Are you excited, Leah? Natalie's here with us. We're all just reading a couple books and getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> the little baby, Tonio. So, Tonio has this one book that is his favorite from school. And which one is it? Mountain Gorillas. Mountain Gorillas. I went to a little meeting that they had, and his teacher even told me this is Anthony's favorite book right here. Don't know why. Why is it your favorite book? Is it because it... The Gorillas? I know it's because it has a rhyming word. Oh, that's great! That's great, Anthony. So, right? Huh? It does have does a rhyming. Does it? Does it have rhyming words? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you don't know? Yeah, yeah. No. So we read this, and then I log it for him. I um put it and in like I in got, a reading log. I got a a fun. And I got a Z one. You gonna show them which ones you got? Yeah. Okay. Show them which ones you got. I have a Z. We are in trouble. Okay. I have this in trouble. Which one is that one? Uh, it's okay. We'll get it later. We're in trouble. Stop it. Which one is that one? I don't know. I don't know. It says the tree house. <laughs> The tree house. This one's different. You've never brought this one home? No. You've never brought this one home. And I th I know about this one. So we'll get to reading, okay? No, let me show them. Can I see it? Because I can't see it. Can they see it? Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Cool. There. So we're going to start reading those and getting ready for bed. Okay. Here is the gorilla with the eyes. You said the little look, creepy. Look at the eyes. Ooh, look at the eyes. <laughs> you said the little creepy yeah. like the eyes. Here's the gorilla with the nose. Look at the nose. Look at the nose. Ooh, the nose. Ooh. Ooh. Here's the gorilla with the arms. Ooh, see the arms? Foot. What's here is a gorilla with the leaf. The tree. I was about to say that. Here is a gorilla with a stick. I said that. Here is a gorilla with a water waterfall. Oh, you look so cute. Oh, the light is bothering. So he got he got that hat and this sweatshirt yesterday from his school. Look at it. Look at it. He put it on this morning. <laughs> hey, why are you picking your nose? <laughs> so it's been a hard morning. Oh, you look so cute. Can I see? Can you see what? You want a picture? Yeah. I'll take a picture. Okay? Here, we'll do it like this. Can you see yourself? <laughs> you look so cute, man. It's not, I don't think it's that cold, but he still looks really cute. You better bring your stuff back, okay? What Don't stuff? leave it at school. What stuff? This stuff. Okay. Okay? You gonna have a good day today? Yeah. Are you gonna have a great day today? Yeah. Why are you gonna have a great day? Because you're awesome. <laughs> you want me to do your hair or no? Yeah. I'm just gonna get rid of that hat. Let's go check the weather. Let's go see what. The... I bet it's not that cold. He just, he just wants to wear his thing. Oh, it's kind of cold. It's chilly, but I guess wetter. But if you need, I don't. It's kind of. 
Isn't it cold? Is it cold enough for a beanie? <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? We are gonna do um, pickup talk, you guys. I'm picking up Tonio. I haven't picked up picked him up in a while because um, I have too many kids, and so they can't all fit in the car. So I've been asking my sister to take the car for uh, for me and pick up Tonio and stuff like that. So I haven't picked him up in a while. So yeah, I'm picking up Tonio. So we have some time for pickup talk. I only have like five. I don't even think five minutes. I'm not sure when they're gonna start taking the kids out. But today I wanna to talk about um, moving on. Am I ready for another relationship? Am I ready to move on? Am I ready to, you know, those type of things. So my answer to this is no and yes. So I feel like I'm over AJ. I honestly can say that I don't feel the same way for him and I mean before whenever we would break up I'd be like I will always love you like you know I, I would always love you um and stuff like that and I feel like I don't love him anymore I mean he will always have a spot in my life like he was my first love he was my first everything um but I also feel like I don't love him and it feels nice to feel free from that relationship you know six years of the relationship that I was in and it feels really nice to you know just be free from it and um, not feel like I need to go back with him um, but like what I mean by yes and no or no and yes is um, what I get in a relationship right now I don't think so because I just don't feel right doing it. I feel like I I need to heal myself. I need myself to be 100% me by the time I get into my relationship. I don't want to get into another relationship and screw it up because, you know, I'm comparing them to my ex or or something like that. I need myself to be I need like I've been evaluating myself. I've been like what needs to change in me because this relationship obviously screwed up obviously messed up because of me and him it wasn't just him it was me and him so I'm trying to figure out what well I've been figuring out what I need to fix in myself in order to you know have a good relationship with somebody else so I feel like I definitely need that time for myself to just heal and and discover who I am because for so long I did it I don't I didn't know who I was I was just Leslie the teen mom the screw up in the family I was Leslie the one who didn't know what to do with her life you know that's who I was and that's not really who I was though so now I'm like finding my potential in life I'm realizing all my wrongs and I want to make them right and I want to make myself better so that the next relationship that I'm in doesn't have to be like the one that I was in before um, so if the one because that's who i'm waiting for right now like v1 i'm waiting for v1 you guys okay um and if he decides to you know if god decides to plop him down and like he and i see him i'm like he's the one then i'm pretty sure i would most likely go with the one but i'm also not trying to hurry things up like you know there's a few people that i've talked to and you know one of them just like moved on way too quickly and i'm just like uh i don't want that right now sorry like you know I want somebody to be my friend so that we can become best friends so that we can you know have a good relationship I definitely am looking for somebody who doesn't look at me in a sexual way I know that kind of seem, can seem weird but like if somebody comes on to me like you know you're cute you're hot you're sexy you're you're a, a milf you're like well I'm just like yo yo that's whenever I like shut them down I'm like no 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 I don't want somebody to look at me like that I want somebody to look at me like you know you're you're beautiful but I want to take you out on a few dates I want to make sure that you know me and you will be good together I, I want somebody that will move slow but I also don't want to do that with just anybody like I'm ready to settle down I'm ready to get married I'm ready to like find the one love that person um you know I just I'm ready for that but I feel like I'm also not ready for it because there's so much that I need to work on. 
plus like I don't have my own place I'm gonna start working I feel like I don't I, whenever I think about it I'm like I don't want to be tied down like I don't want to be tied down but I also don't want to be in like like I don't want to be in so many relationships like I just want to do me like I want to do me like you know I want to work on myself work for my family get get it started whenever the one decides to pop up they'll pop up I don't know I that's I don't know if that makes any sense, um, but that's where I'm at. I mean, I've come a long way from where I was before. Like, my ex just, like, hollered at me, and I was just like, ooh, because, you know, he paid attention to me. So I was like, hey, but that's not how it should be. So I've come a long way. I've definitely seen that I've matured, um, and I, you know, I feel like I know what kind of man I want, um, and I feel like I'm praying for him. I'm hoping for him. I'm... I know I'll get the one that I want if I wait and I search for him or just let him come to me maybe. Maybe I should just let him come to me, but you know, I'll find the one that I want, the one that is for me. And I don't want to be breaking people's hearts. I don't want people breaking my heart through it. I just, I want to wait. So that's that. I don't know that many times, but that's it for this pickup chat. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Can you move your water bottle? Yes, yes. Um, today we're having a fun day. We have a festival. We call it Festival Latino. It's from our church. We get to celebrate our culture, our different countries, it's the different like Hispanic countries. And so that's gonna be lots of fun. I think it's important for my kids to know a little bit about every, you know, Hispanic country. I mean, any country in general, but um, our our church is hosting it and everything so um they like invented it and it became just super cool and hopefully we get a lot of people coming i think this is going to be the third year or the second year that we've done it i think it's the third um so that's exciting i want to go pick up my cousin delphi because she you can't see it's okay we'll show you later <laughs> because she's gonna help me out and she's gonna have some fun with me because it's always fun I'm just kidding. Um, it's Sunday night. It's really late at night. Night. My throat is hurting really bad. I feel like I'm gonna lose my voice by tomorrow. But um, the girls are still awake. But we're about to go to sleep. Um, today I just feel super blessed, and I just want to come in here and just say thank you guys for your love and for your support and for everything that you guys have given me. I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm not sure where I am in my life right now. And I don't mean like I'm in a good spot right now in my life. I'm in a really good spot in my life. 
Um, one that I honestly thought I'd never be in just because I'm now, like, I just, I've realized one that I've honestly just, I've just realized this week how like deep in a hole I was. I was just like in a really, really deep hole and I just thought I was like worthless. I thought like I was going through so much in my life at that point that I'm like, this was just like a few, like this was like last, like two weeks ago that I was in this hole. Like I just didn't realize the hole that I was in like months and weeks ago and I'm like I'm getting out of this hole and I'm in a really good spot in my life um and you know I to this I went to a cell group I went to church today and I actually just printed out like an hour ago I went to print out my paperwork for my um for the job for the training and everything and it was tons of paperwork but I was so thankful like one of my best friends helped me um and I was just so thankful for the help and for the love and for, you know, do, going through this process. Like, I'm thankful for being able to have a job. And so I just, I, I don't know where, I, where I'm going to do now. I don't know how this vlogging thing is going to go for me. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. I think it's just like, I'm thinking about like my whole journey up till now. And I'm very thankful for it. Um, but um, I'm not sure how vlogging is going to go this week or the next few like weeks. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just like vlog one time a day and upload it for you guys the next day. I'm not sure right now what's going to happen and I just want to let you guys know that right now. I know that this week there'll be a weekly vlog which is the one that you guys watched. Um, but I'm not sure about next week and how I'm going to do it. Um, so... Just let me know what you guys would like to see. Would you guys still like to see weekly vlogs? Or would you guys like to see like... Um, like just like one whole day vlog or would you guys like to just see like I don't know just let me know what you guys want to see um, I won't be working so much I don't think I will so um, I think I'll be able to put out content for you guys enough for you guys so I, you guys won't feel like I just left YouTube because I don't want to do that I definitely want to keep myself on YouTube and um but yeah, I'm not too sure what's going to happen from now because I am starting a new chapter in my life. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. We'll see um, how everything goes. But I'm just super excited. I want to tell you guys thank you guys for your support and for your love. Um, for even watching me. Like, I'm surprised that 300 people are subscribed to me. I know it's not a lot for some people, but it's a lot for me. I've, got, I've come a long way. And I'm so proud of myself. And I'm so thankful for you guys. Um, sorry I sound like a old man or something my throat really hurts right now um so i just want to say good night you guys or wherever you guys are watching this i hope you guys are having a great day um thank you guys so much for clicking on this vlog and watching it tell me why you guys watch us down below like do you guys like the kids tell me what you why you guys watch these vlogs um and yeah i appreciate you guys thank you guys so much for your love um and i will talk to you guys whenever i can i promise i'll put up a week I, I'll put up a video. I'll put up a video. Every week. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be a weekly vlog. I don't know if it's going to be a vlog. I don't know if it's just going to be like a, a makeup tutorial. A random video. Whatever it is. I'll put it up. Um, just don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And like this video if you liked it. And leave me comments down below. Say hi. Just say hi. Like Just leave hi down below if you would like to. So I love you guys. For the 10,000th time, I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs>